Yo, check this. World's biggest mod site bans pronoun removing Starfield mod. We stand for diversity and inclusion. Yes. Uh, hello again, Paradox of Tolerance, my old friend. Yep, yep. Nice, dude. As is usually the case with Bethesda RPG, Starfield is a dream for modders. There are bugs to fix, a clunky UI to replace, and plenty of wide open spaces to fill with nonsense. Um, our list of the best Starfield mods is growing, and there's still plenty left to do. It's not all creativity and wonder, however. Someone made a mod that removed the option to select your character's pronouns from Starfield's character creator, and uploaded it to popular mod hosting hub Nexus Mods, which then deleted it. Good. The thing that's so stupid is, like, why are people so upset about it? The thing that's, like, developers giving as many people as possible possible the, the, as many options as possible to be who they want to be in a game is what should be there you know what i mean it's part of being it's part of rpg uh evolution um giving as many options as possible to play whatever kind of character you want to play so uh, people throwing a fit about the fact that you can actually select pronouns in the game is actually asinine. Just pick whatever you know you you want to use for your character and move on, dude. What's the big flipping deal, dude? Wait, I'm personally on the side that mods like this is fine. It only impacts you. Well, I think the bigger issue here is that um, the platform itself that is hosting this mod feels like it is. They are an inclusive platform. And if they were to include it on their platform, it would make them look like, right? They they are not supporting that kind of notion. You know what I'm saying? Which is why they don't want it to be there. So I'm sure you can go find that mod on some other sites or whatever. But for them personally, the 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 people that run that site, they they don't want to have that kind of perception about them. So they they don't want it there. And I respect that. The thing that's asinine about it is that, um, like I said, dude, I play some RPGs where I make a character fairly close to representing me as a an individual in real life. Sometimes it's loosely based on who I am. Sometimes... It is nothing even remotely close to me because I create something just out of the blue. Like with Elden Ring, where I created a female character that had a... Uh, I literally made the face... Uh, trying to made, make the face of that character look like they had sucked on a black hole lemon. You know what I mean? Um, so, it, it, it's one of those things where it's like, the more options that people can have for what they want their character to be, who they want their character to be, then great. The more, the more people can be represented and, and, and the more variety people can have in creating whatever character they want to have in a game to play it. Even if they don't want that character to be representative of themselves, if they just want to play some, some, some character they make up in their head or whatever, you know what I mean? And so, in my opinion, for a role-playing game where you have character creation, the more options you have, the better. And the people that throw a fit about there being options, a wide variety of options, whatever those options may be, just because it doesn't fit their persona, can get bent. They don't have to pick those things. So what are they throwing a fit about? Just pick what suits you and move on. It's the same thing as people being worried about 
how other people live their lives whenever it doesn't affect them or whatever. You know what I mean? People out there just trying to live their best lives, whether it be, you know, people always concerned with other people's issues of race or gender, sexual preference or whatever, you know, when it really doesn't have anything to do with them. They're just upset because somebody's different than them. And I understand what you're saying, Tim Wynn. Um, You know, mods do crazy kinds of mod stuff all the time and, and whatever. But for the platform that is hosting mods, if if a mod comes out that is against what they believe in and is going to make um, them potentially be perceived as something against their morals and ethics that they stand for or whatever, then I'm totally about them not allowing that mod to be uh, available on their platform. That makes sense to me. It's, I mean, just the same thing as like the way that I run this community. You know what I mean? And um, we're a very inclusive, very welcoming, very safe spot for people. Yeah. And um, if, if anybody comes in here with the kinds of sentiments and things that don't necessarily coincide with um, the way that we run this community, then um, I really nip that stuff in the bud pretty quick. You know what I mean? Because I don't want people to uh, get the the perception or notion that what we do here is anything aside from the way that we handle business. You know, I don't want people to to uh, get things twisted about the way that we we handle ourselves here. So that's just the way that 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 platform is is doing the same exact thing. Um, gotta wear the business socks so people know you're for real. Dude. <laughs> That's right, dude. That's right. Sight keeps coming in. He'll be lurking, dude. He just drops a bomb and you know, and chat and it lurks out again, dude. I love it. Yeah, yeah. What else was going on in chat here? It's business time. That was for psych. So, um, it, can you choose in Starfield to not have your pronouns public? I don't even know. As a woman, I can get a bit uncomfortable with people knowing I'm female in a game. Well, and that's another, I mean, that sucks too. Yeah, that sucks too. I, I, I thought they gave you the option of even not, I mean, do, don't they give you the option of, of just, not choosing i thought they gave you the option of just not choosing as well but yeah it's just a single player game though yeah it's not it's not like you're like in there playing with other people and stuff right so it doesn't really matter but um i mean i i can understand i mean you bring up a good point cappy right i mean we've, we've seen a lot of research stuff in the gaming industry here's what's crazy this is what's crazy. So we live in a world, we've seen a lot of research where half of gamers are women and appropriate, right? <laughs> it makes sense. It funny. We've seen research where it was like, uh, there were like all these like stupid dudes that were like calling out this research for being um, skewed or wrong and saying that, um, cause they showed of console players, people that owned consoles, how many of them were women and how many of them were men. And there are more women switch owners and players than men. And almost as many on PlayStation and Xbox as well. It was in like the 40% range for women versus men. So it's, it's really almost a break even point middle, middle of the road. Right. Um, yeah, I know Cappy and I'm going to talk, I'm going to touch on that. Um, and, and so the thing that's crazy is that like people like for one of these, the, the research that we're showing for like the amount of women that own consoles to play themselves, it wasn't the amount of consoles that had been purchased by women for other people or anything. It was 
for women that have purchased consoles for themselves to play themselves, you know? And um, not only that, but and this was like a research that we saw in the news article like three months ago or something. I've actually, it's on our YouTube channel, I think. Um, it's really nice. <laughs> nice, Gabs, nice. And then uh, we've seen other research things where there would be like, uh, we've, we've, they've taken men to play in, in com online competitive environments and stuff, right? Sure. Um, they've taken men, they've uh, put them into competitive online environments and um, tracked the way they, they played with team members, right? And the way team members coordinated with them um, communicated with them, things of that nature, and then put them on a voice changer to make them sound like a woman. And the way they were treated like 70 to 80% of the time after that was horrendous. It was just so stupid. It's so crazy. Um, that and it's sad, really. You know, it's, it's so sad that that just because of somebody's gender, they get treated differently in a a world that just everybody should be able to enjoy and love and be a part of and and have fun with. Because that's what it's really about, right? Gaming's always been about us having fun, and enjoying spending time together, playing games in a multiplayer environment, whether it be local or land setups back in the day or now, you know, online multiplayer is just everywhere, you know? Um, <clears throat> it's so gross, dude. It's so gross to, to see uh, how people are treated on the constant for anything that they can be discriminated against. And, and women gamers are are absolutely discriminated against in in a very very large capacity dude it sucks it sucks um which is why you know usually and I'll be fair let me be honest here ever you know every year so far we've watched like uh women in gaming and stuff I'm not going to lie it's filled with a lot of fluff content that gets really boring for me but I support women in gaming dude I support everybody in gaming, man. And I think it's appropriate that we do that thing. And it's so gross to know that people get discriminated against for stupid stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. It. I can understand why people would not want their pronouns out there. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, or, or don't want their voice out there. Or, or don't want their picture out there. Or, or something like Or want them to actually appear to be something entirely different than who they they normally or they who they are in real life just so they'd be treated different but that is such a sad flipping notion dude what a sad thing for people to have to deal with you know yeah cuz i mean yeah so so thanks vault thanks i mean cuz they they all kind of kind of came related there because one got brought up and then Cappy kind of uh, related one into another. And so I got on a bit of a, a, a talk there for that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Vault. Yeah. Quite often. Yeah. It's really, really disgusting. <laughs> it's really gross. I hate it. I hate it. I anyway, mean, here's the thing. I mean, uh, like, I've got, I've got sisters, dude, and none of them have ever been as big into gaming as I am, but we always played games together. You know what I mean? We always played games together. And I always thought that was awesome, you know? And now also, I mean, I've, you know, I've got a daughter and she likes to game, you know? And it, it, it saddens me, dude, that you know, knowing, it saddens me knowing that my daughter is going to have a harder time in online gaming environments than I will just because of the difference in our gender, you know? That sucks so bad.
It's really gross, man. So we'll finish reading the rest of this. <laughs> Thanks, Gabs. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> So, um, we'll read the rest of this. We got a bit, uh, sidetracked with that conversation. I mean, it's appropriate. It, it falls in line with what we're talking about here, but, um, even if you play Starfield, you might not remember it. It even has the option to change your character's default pronouns. It's a low key choice that only gets brought up as you finalize your character. And yet it's been the subject of bizarre rants like streamer Hill versus, we, we heard about this Hill versus Babyface screaming. Sorry. Did you want to get immersed in our world? Well, guess what? Pronouns. Yeah, this was weird, dude. It was disheartening to see that Starfield, a game I had eagerly anticipated, had incorporated woke elements that detracted from the immersive experience. <clears throat> what an ignorant idiot, dude. Nexus Mods confirmed that it had deleted the mod, saying hosting this mod was not for us, and it is certainly within our rights to not host content on our platform. In a statement to 404 Media, it's not a political statement or an alignment with, to one side or the other in cultural war. We stand for diversity and inclusion in our community. The removal of diversity while appealing to many does not promote a positive modding community. Perfect. Easy. As the paradox of tolerance explains, the one thing an open and tolerant society cannot permit is intolerance. When bigotry goes, ah, no! When bigotry goes unchallenged by a community, that community becomes intolerant. That is a perfect quote, dude. I love this statement. Previously, Nexus Mods has banned mods that replaced Pride Flags and Spider-Man Remastered and temporarily banned U.S. political mods during the 2020 election. On both occasions, nothing of value was lost. A reinforcement that this has been the best course of action has been some of the hatred, vitriol, and threats of violence coming from a very, very small minority of the community. Nexus Mods went on to say, Frankly, we are not sad to see them go. That's what it's about, dude. 